Welcome everybody, your uh, favorite vloggers, David and Blonnie, are here to make your Sunday evening better. This is almost Or like, maybe your second favorite vlogger. Or is, even your third what? favorite. It no, doesn't really matter. I want to be the favorite vlogger. It still makes us happy, even if we're like the fifth or the tenth even. Um, the eleventh this, is getting too far. This is, uh, <laughs> we're, this is not competition. <laughs> it's about entertainment. <laughs> Anyway, this is almost like live because uh, we are recording this on Sunday morning, right before it's posted. So uh, we're coming to you only a few hours apart from the recording to the posting. And today we're going to talk about our new business and the direction it's taking and what we finally decided to do because we promised to. Um, so Blonde, you can begin. Because <laughs> you basically, um, you created this. You. I mean, you were, you designed everything. <laughs> we have a smoke detector problem, so Maybe we should apologies. Put it <laughs> well, it's, it's, we can cut the beeps out if it does it again. It's going to do it again. A już jest zupełnie inny dzień znowu, to znaczy następny dzień, kolejny dzień po południe i jest cyrk. Mówiąc jest cyrk, mam to na myśli dosłownie. Spotykamy się z nowym klientem na wesele w restauracji, która jest tutaj przed nami i na parkingu jest cyrk, dosłownie. Czegoś takiego to nie widziałem już, już od dosyć dawna. Look, there's skeletons hanging up there, but one is missing a leg. I had a uh, feeling that this has something to do with Halloween because it's October already and as you guys know here in the US the entire month of October is that Halloween feeling so you start seeing pumpkins and all other Halloween decorations all over the place. There's definitely an evil queen and a devil or I something. have an evil queen at home. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I came up with it because our friend Chris Mullins wanted us to do a project for him, his business. He said basically to us, I would love for you guys to just take over my social media channel for a week. And I was so then trying to come up with some package for him to take over his social media channel. And when I was creating it, I was like, well, other people could buy this package. And then it became just an obsession so of. basically the main um, idea about this is the subscription service. Mm -hmm. So this is a subscription service. Businesses pay us a fee of some sort for delivering their social media content, for creating social media content for them. Of course, visual content, which means photos and videos. And graphics. Yes. And how, why do we think that this is a good time to create a business like that? Because first of all, a lot of uh, business owners, small and medium-sized business owners out there uh, can take their own photos and some of them can, can take great photos and videos, but their main profession is not photography. They're doing something else in their lives and they're busy enough. Is that people or is this? Those are um, hay people. My goodness, scary. Ten four at one p.m. Should we go around? Oh wait a second, David. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I think we were knocking on the wrong door. It is the right door, but I just see this way. Maybe we're supposed to come through here. It's just like us in a way. I keep thinking this, but I don't know if I can put it into words correctly. Our business is photography, but we barely have time to post photos to social media because we have so many other goals and things that we have to do in our business. Right. So uh, if, if even photographers who have that content can't do it, then... If you're passionate about what you do and uh, you become busy in your business life, you simply don't have time for all those small things that come along. And right now we live at times where it's very important to be on social media, as everybody knows. Um, you have to be on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, a ton of different channels out there. And it's very difficult to keep up with them when photography and video is not your main focus. 
it's every day. Well, some of the people we've spoken to said every day I think, oh God, what am I going to post on there today? So we just want to give them the content to post in advance. Right. So we basically take their hassle with coming up with social media content out of the equation so they can free up their time and really stay focused on what they do best. All right, we're in. Hello? Um, his grandparents lived here, it was their home. Um, his grandfather was an attorney, his mm -hmm. father was an attorney, and my husband's an attorney, mm -hmm. and it was used as law offices uh, mm. for the last, gosh, at least 30 years. Uh -huh. uh, and now he's kind of semi-retired. He doesn't need the whole office anymore, just has a small office in the back. And this was just kind of sitting here. And I don't know, my sister and I got this bright idea over drinks and New Year's Eve. I think it is <laughs> a bright idea. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the history of Elkton as far as the I marriage? do. We kind of talked about that yeah. because I had known it was like um, there was no blood test needed and people could right. get married immediately. Exactly. And there were all these so famous people. It was that the were... pl quickest place that you could come to yeah. from yeah. New York, New Jersey. Yeah, we're right next to the courthouse. Uh -huh. So they'd go to the courthouse and get their marriage license. And then there were several chapels. Who were the yeah. famous people that got married? Oh, all kinds of people. Yeah. Babe Ruth was one. Um, Charles Bar I was sitting here one day working when yeah. Charles Barkley pulled up and got married. Yeah, really? 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 Even that recently? Yeah, oh yeah. That was law. in the 80s. Well, uh, it, it had already been changed, but I guess it was still people kind of... People kept coming uh, because their family. Aunt Florence did it, and Uncle uh -huh. David yeah, did it, their Grandma did it, so parents. they just they just kept coming even yeah. though... Yeah. Another important thing about staying active on social media is posting consistently and posting consistent looking content. So. Uh, once you decide on a theme, you know, whether you want your images to be light and airy or dark and, and, and well saturated or there's anything else about them that's specific to your business and what you do, you want to stay consistent with that. And if you sort of, as you keep saying, have photographer on staff, which we mm -hmm. think about ourselves, that's what we would be, but for a much, much, much smaller fee than then someone would have to pay another person in their organization that they would really hire for that position. Um, we can provide this content with a consistent look and consistent schedule. And all you do is you post it on your social media and everybody goes, wow. <laughs> but this is actually, this is not like a typical circus but because it says paranormal. Paranormal Cirque. So this sounds very... You're walking too fast. What does this sound like, Bonnie? Very Paranormal? What? It means out of the normal. No, I know what it means, but... <laughs> it means, like, haunted. So, it's like our family. <laughs> so, it's like a haunted... What do you mean? Out of the normal <laughs> or haunted? Both. <laughs> Especially this month. Get ready for a lot of haunted. And, of course, there's uh, mall security activity here, so something happened. What happened? Don't film. I can film stuff. I have the right to film stuff. I'm a legal citizen of this country of the light, right to film stuff. So again, for those of you who have been watching the show for a while, you know, we were going through several several different ideas. Well, all of those ideas kind of relate. Like yes, the food they're thing, very um, in the we same can, area. Yeah, we can do this for restaurants. We can do this for real estate agents with drone content. Right. And, Eventually, we decided yeah. we just want a little broader scope than just food photography uh, because we like feeling uncontained you know um we like feeling when the when the there, there are no borders there are no limits or at least they are very far so we can go pretty much anywhere with this business <laughs> well come on up this is where we this is where we do wow look at that weddings. that is nice uh, right i need little candles just so you could get the ambiance Ooh, feel yeah. <laughs> So we do the, you know, exchange uh -huh. vows right here. You know, we were just, I was just talking to this yoga lady in Northeast earlier today. You know, I just found out about her. Kate, my daughter, Casey, at uh -huh. Sweet Spice was just that's telling That's your daughter? Oh, yeah, that's oh, what? Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Did she talk to you about us? I thought she looked her. like someone. No, really not until, <laughs> no, I didn't even <laughs> know. Really? Actually, it was just Did that. Did you know I took pictures of her cakes? For the um, city no. of, I mean, actually the tourism. Really, I have to show for you. For the Board oh, of I Tourism, didn't. for yes. the Cecil County Board of Tourism. Oh, we were no there kidding. On yeah, official I did not business. know that. No, did you I, see our video with, with them in it? I must not have. <laughs> 
we look, we're not doing a good job, Cher. Well, <laughs> I'm not really great at, you know, being active on social we media. Have to send so it to that's you, probably like, me. But there's many, many mm -hmm. other businesses, almost anything, that could use uh, this service and just make their life easier. Mm -hmm. So we think this is a good point in time and we are at the right place to do this kind of thing and we feel very enthusiastic about it. Where is that place? The end of nowhere else to go, Road? <laughs> <laughs> it's between nowhere else to go and a really bright future. Yes. <laughs> you just have to make the right turn. So now. we're at the end of the road, basically, is yeah. what you're saying. And yeah, but we're making the right turn. This is Absolutely. the turn we took. We were... Uh, <laughs> Yes, we've been we've been uh, uh, dwelling on this for a long time, and this is the turn we already took. So it better leads to the correct destination. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, setting up the first series of appointments for this specific business, we should share the website at this point. Mm -hmm. So the website is already there. It's, well, it's Wax just That Media. Not completed yet. Uh, no website is ever completed. Oh, but I mean, it's really, I have a lot more I want to do to it. But it looks good. Come on. There's a mm. lot of content on it already. You guys are most welcome to visit. Uh, uh, make those Google spiders crawl into our website more. If you visit, it's going to help us as well. So setting up the first series of appointments with uh, local business owners to present ourselves to them and uh, try to get the first clients. We are already meeting very interesting people and to make today's video a little bit more interesting because it's still a vlog. We just don't want it to be just a monologue. We're going to show you guys who we met so far and tie this video over into announcing, sort of announcing our plans for a, our Halloween special this year. Mm. Um, I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to say too much. This is idioms again. We have this Polish idiom that says don't split the skin on the bear. Oh. Yeah, I know. It sounds mean? nasty, but it simply means you shouldn't uh, start counting your wins while you haven't completed the project yet. Oh, this is like our don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Right. <laughs> Yours is much nicer in <laughs> yeah. this one. So not to get too excited, but we do have great idea for this year's uh, Halloween video and we're already taking steps to make it happen. So you guys stay tuned because there's cool stuff coming up. So now I don't know if you're going to survive this. I'm going to survive this. I don't know. You're for not... the vlog, I'm, su I'm surviving really? it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then you'll go to one of those like haunted jails with me? No. You were actually very brave going into that basement. <laughs> <laughs> this ghost story was told to us by Holly. Holly owns a venue called The Vows at Mitchell House. It's in Elkton, Maryland. And Holly is trying to um, market her venue a little bit better and do more weddings in short. So we might be trying to help. We will be trying to help make that happen on the visual side, delivering social media images and videos to achieve that goal a little faster mm -hmm. and while talking to Holly this story was revealed this building has been our business since you know the 1980s and my husband's son Kyle was three years old and he had come in to stay with us for a few hours while his mom was out doing some other things and he wanted to go down and look in the basement and I said Kyle what do you want to go down in the basement for I said, I just want to see Miss Holly I just want to see Okay, so the basement is right there behind you, David. We went down the stairs, and it's kind of grubby down there. We keep files, and there's old chairs and books and, you know, all kinds of things down there. And he says, well, who's that man? I said, what man? He said, Holly, that man right there in the hat. And I turned around and looked, and obviously I did not see the man in the hat but I thought it was a really good time for us to come back upstairs. <laughs> two stories, actually. There were two stories because there was the one with the basement and then there was this one. Okay, so one afternoon, um, while we were here at work, um, my uh, office partner and I were the only ones here because my husband was in court that day and there were no other clients at the, at the, at the time. We were just here working away. We have an apartment upstairs that uh, a tenants live there for since the 80s. She's been with us for a long time. She's family, basically. Um, 
so we're sitting down here working, minding our own business, doing our, doing our job, and you could hear furniture being drug across the floor. And so I said to my friend Laura, I said, gosh, Tracy must be redecorating or, or doing something upstairs. She's dragging furniture all the way across the, across the building. And Laura said, Holly, I saw Tracy leave about half an hour ago. I said, well, she must have come back. She said, well, her car's not here. I said, well, um, she has to be up there. I said, you heard that, right? She said, oh yeah, I heard it. So I went over and I opened the door and I went to the foot of the stairs and I said, Tracy, are you there? Nothing. Tracy, are you there? Nothing. I said, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So I went back. We sat back down, we started back to work, there goes the furniture again, being drug across the floor. Did you tell Tracy? Oh yeah. And oh, what did she say? Tracy's had plenty of experiences oh, up really? there over the years. She and my sister used to live together upstairs, and every once in a while I would stay with them. The thermostat that controls the upstairs is right down here in the, in the front. So, you know, it was family, so we, mm -hmm. the whole building was open, and, and at night they'd come down to adjust the thermostat. And so one night I spent the night with them, and I was like, okay, we'll go adjust the thermostat. So I did, and as I'm walking back up the stairs, I, I could just feel like there was somebody behind me, you know, and every step I took, it felt mm -hmm. like there was somebody there. And literally, I mean, seriously, the hair on the back of my neck just went ding, mm -hmm. you know, it just, you could just feel it. You just mm -hmm. knew that there was something or somebody there. So all of this has inspired us to come up with a really cool idea for the Halloween uh, video special this year. And I'm, I'm very excited about it. That's all I can say for now. You could maybe explain some things away as it being, well, it's an old building. Of course, it's going to creak and do things. But you know when the hair stands up on the back of your neck, you know it's more yeah. than just a story. Now it's after the client meeting and it's uh, past sunset time and the paranormal circus Cirque It's not circus, it's Cirque Actually looks very cool Lit all with red lights And a moment ago there was this sound that we thought was coming from there but You said it was what? It was the uh, fire was people? The fire department alarm but there is still sound coming from this now. That's it for today. Thank you for your attention. We'll see you in three days. Why would I give myself more stress? Well, there's, there's enough stress in everyday life. See, this is stressful. But you know what? You'll never know what you can survive until you try. Mm -hmm. And what um, if, I've been trying a lot already. What if these people that we've invited to be on the vlog entice you to come experience those things? I'll have to think about it. <laughs> I, I'll make you.